The last JJK release of the year is officially here, and trust me when I say, it's Boogie Woogie Good. I guess I'm a brother now. said it before and I'll say it again. When it comes to basic character designs, Tamashii Nations always knocks it out of the park and Toto from Jujutsu Kaisen is no exception. Now before we begin the official review, I do want to say I am a bit concerned with the JJK line as we have not gotten any more reveals since Toto, which I'm not sure how far back that has been. He definitely or there definitely were no reveals at the Jump Festa, which was a bit concerning again. However, I am very positive going into 2024 that we're going to get some more reveals. Now, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and see what all Toto comes with. This figure is the complete package. Minus an effect that the character never portrays in the series, you're going to be getting everything you need to complete your Toto action figure. You're going to be getting a total of five different faceplates. Five. That is an outstanding amount. Now, let me go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Yes, these faceplates are a bit paler to the overall body. And we'll get into that later on, so make sure you stick around. You're going to be getting his pendant as well. Perfect accessory for Toto. You're going to be getting a total... Of four pairs of hands including the closed fist here two unique hands which here is one here and then the other is down here this one's for holding his pendant and this one is for posing with UG you're also going to be getting the cross-armed accessory as well which much like Orochimaru they are damn near perfecting this accessory and I am excited for that with that out of the way let's go ahead and get Toto out of the packaging Believe me when I say this figure looks really good. You know, shading alone on the body, which looks amazing. The figure just has a great stature about it. Definitely an eye catcher. Now, let's go ahead and take him in for a closer look so you can see what I'm talking about with the face plates. First of all, here is his shaded body that looks very good. And then you can kind of tell it is a bit on the paler side with the overall complexion in the face plate. Is it something that's strikingly, that's strikingly noticeable? No, that's not for sure. But if you're looking for it, you will see it. All right. So yeah, just keep this body in mind, the complexion in mind, the muscle definition in mind, especially when we get into the face plates, because you'll see they are a bit paler. Now, with that out of the way, again, going back to the shading on the body, it looks incredible. The back here. My last review was of the Legendary Super Saiyan Goku. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. And I was talking about in that video how the muscle definition is not something we've seen covered a lot from Tamanchi Nations. Well, with this figure here, you can see the muscle definition on this figure it looks incredible. The shading is just so great. Really enjoying this figure. It is a simple design. Not too much going on here. So there's not a lot you can screw up with this release. And I gotta say... It looks really good, and I am overall impressed. Now, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump straight into the articulation for Toto. Now, he can look up this much here. Basically, everything is going to be done with the neck. The neck piece is what's going to be moving his head around all the way. So you can see how he can look down. Man, the figure just looks so good. He can look up this much again to show you. Now, the necklace does not lay flat or anything like that. You'll see that for yourself. 
you can tilt side to side. The head does rotate all the way around and you can pop it off. Fairly easy to put on the necklace. Going into the arms now, you know, we just got something special with the legendary Goku and I think, you know, they're learning a lot from that release and especially with Toto, you can definitely see it in there. The range is just so wide. I mean, look at that. Look at the range in the arms. Something we don't see often. Rotate all the way around. Double jointed, of course. You have your um, bicep swivel, butterfly joints as well. So you can get that cross going. Uh, let's see. And the arms kind of like, they pull out and they tuck in too, which just makes for better range. And then for the wrist, of course, they can rotate. You know, this is a, a really good release. He can twist here at the waist, at the upper as well. Not too crazy, but he can still move around. Um, here's back, forward, getting into the legs. You know, just a great figure for articulation. Not the best, especially with the legs, but that's going to be because of the pants, how large they are. You know, feet can extend out, you got your rockers, toe pivot, you know, split. Everything that you would expect to work basically works, minus the hindering of his just clothes and design overall. Now, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the face plates, pairs of hands, his necklace, and then we'll finish off with the conclusion. Here is a better look at the five face plates that come with Toto, and they all look great, very expressive. I have the body behind because I want you to see with the complexion in mind, how the face plates are a bit paler. Nothing too crazy. Though I will say, if they were to, if they would have put the shading into the face plates, man, this figure would have looked so damn good from top to bottom. But yes, five face plates are what we're going to be getting, and they all look great. When it comes to the pairs of hands, you are going to be getting a total of four pairs of hands plus two unique hands. One being for holding his pendant, the other for posing with Yuji. We're also going to be getting his cross arm accessory as well. And right now, I'm going to show you how to swap that out. Very easy, so let me show you. Swapping out for the cross arms is easily done. All you have to do is pull down these two arms and replace them with this here. So let me show you real quick. And there you have it folks, easily done, quick to do, and it's a lot better from what we've had in the past. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to the necklace. There's not too much to really talk about with this accessory, the necklace of course, but I will say it is all plastic. And I guess it would have been cool to receive an accessory with the pendant being open where you can see Yuji and his um, pop star that he loves. I think that would have been like pretty cool and unique. Definitely would have been the extra mile. Not sure Tomashi Nations is about that, but that would have been a nice little piece to be included with Toto. With that out of the way, everyone, let's get into the conclusion. Tomashi Nations JJK line has been on an absolute roll ever since the very first release. And now to cap off 2023, we have Toto, and the figure is just where it needs to be, having the right amount of faceplates and accessories. Definitely one to keep your eyes open for if you're a fan of JJK. If you like basic character design figures and just want a background character, you can't go wrong with Toto. I do look forward to 2024 to see what more reveals we'll get. We have the Gojo figure coming out and the Ghetto figure from Jujutsu High. I will be reviewing those figures here on the channel, so make sure that you're subscribed if you want to get that nature figure review. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't seen my 2024 Jujutsu Kaisen SH Figure Arts predictions, go and check that out. And if you haven't seen my Sukuna or Ghetto review I did earlier this year, make sure you go and watch those as well. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. 
We'll see you next time. Peace.